Hi and welcome back to Just In Time Videos by Geeks First. On today's episode, the Commander Lockbox. Commander Lockbox is a set of two plates that together will create both the top and bottom of your Commander Lockbox. You will utilize glue as well as tape to assemble this product. So let's go ahead and get started here. Step one is pop out all of your parts from each of the plates. Your dividers will be separate from your lid, which will be separate from your base plate with the locking mechanism. Be cautious when popping out these two components on this plate here that contain other parts on the inside. You want to pop these out as well. Simply rotate these and they should fall right out. Once you pop this piece here and here, this middle part is scrap and then this is used in the build. These two components in the middle of this one here and here are used. And again, this pone here is also scrap. When we come over to this plate, you'll continue to break out your components as you see me doing here. Be mindful of the teeth to make sure that as you break these out, you watch the bottom T part for the lock mechanism as these can be slightly brittle and if broken, the lock mechanism will not function as well. Clean off any flack as you see, as you see here me doing. Those look pretty good. We'll continue to break out our parts here. Now that we have all the components ready to go, we can start organizing. You're going to have your two sides here and here. These are going to be parts of your lid. There, 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 and there. And the rest of this is part of the lock mechanism on the bottom. If you have any tape like this that you see from post-production, we try to remove it, but if we missed one, go ahead and peel it off so that your parts are assembled and look nice in the final completed product. All right, let's get started. To begin this build, it is a little bit more complicated than our other ones, so we'll start by using one of the sides. You'll see here that we'll choose to use this side upside down so that we have the ability to have the nice side out. The first step in this build is to leverage this component right here. And as you see this component, will need to be glued on this long side here, here, this location, here, as well as these two parts. Once you've glued that, this will set into place right here and slot in accordingly. The next step will be assembling your base plate, which is this part here. You will notice that there is a sized tooth that prevents you from assembling this backwards. You'll notice that these cannot be put in in reverse. Once you glue in each valley of these locations, you do not need to glue on this plate, you can put this slot in and then that whole assembly will then also slot into your other location. The next part of this build will be putting this outer wall on this part as well. You'll put glue in each of the locations including here, all the way along this, and then this piece will slot in place to allow you quick and easy access. Go ahead and get it in place. There's that, and there is that. At this stage, your box should look something similar to this. Okay, your next step will be to put on your rear door. So flipping this over, your rear door will get glued in every valley that you see, as well as the opposite side. You're gonna glue in each of these locations here. And then this will get put on for this temporary time. I will use tape to hold this together while I explain the rest of this build out. Now you can flip to the very front and this is where you utilize this open door piece here. You'll notice there are three nipples that are here. You'll want to glue between each of these as well as here, 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 and here. Be mindful to not get too terribly much glue in this area as a card will sit here for the longevity of this box and you don't want that to prevent your card from sitting up or sitting sideways. Once that is in place, we will now flip this upside down to reveal the locking mechanism, which is the key to this box. 
This is the most crucial part of the build, and I highly recommend making sure that you follow these instructions exactly. Each of these components here and here will be placed in. You'll glue a strip along here and place it underneath like so. And you'll glue a strip along here and place it underneath like so. The next part will have a slice of glue down the middle, but not too terribly much, and it will be living right there. The next two parts are your actual locking mechanism. These do not get glued. You set them in and they should slide all the way out. If at this point in time these do not slide freely, as you're seeing me able to perform that action here, you will want to use a piece of sandpaper, as described in our earlier videos, to give it a little bit of a sand, which will open up the ability for it to slide smoother, thus allowing you to keep your box in a much nicer fashion. At this point, the very last component is this. This part, you will glue across here and across here, and if you want, each of these secure points here, here, and here. Do not glue anything in this middle tab. If glue gets in here and this gets stuck, your box will be locked forever. Again, just like before, these are keyed. They will only go a certain direction. So find the direction in which the key works, and then assemble at this point you would use tape to secure it in place until it's dry. Your locking mechanism should now be fully enclosed and upon drying should open and close as you see here. Please check before the glue is cured in order to ensure that you do not have to try to pry the box apart to fix any potential issues. At this point you can put your dividers and slot them into any known slot just to keep the box rigid while it is drying. At this stage, this completes the bottom portion of the Commander lockbox. Now let's move on to the lid. The lid will contain multiple pieces as you see here, and will be arranged as such. This will get locked into place, and glued in every valley as before mentioned. At this point, you would apply glue, starting with one piece, in every valley such as here, here, and each of these. I will go ahead and begin to dry fit this to demonstrate what it will look like when completed. Your sides are going to mount with glue here and here, like so. Once all of these have been glued into place, Remove any burrs you see, like that one that was just there. This lid will allow you to slot this device on top of the commander box, allowing for you to lock your deck in place safely and securely upon transit. The window piece again will go into the front, as you see here. And then this will slot on top of the box I would not recommend putting this together and slotting it while it is drying, as any extra runoff glue can cause the two pieces to glue the wood together, permanently locking your box together, meaning you have to break it to get it apart. So let it cure for at least 30 to 90 minutes before trying to put it together. But at this point, this is the Commander Lockbox. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please put a comment below or reach out to us and we'll help you get it taken care of. Thank you very much and have a great day.